106.5. Straight from Nashville. It's country music news. Luke Combs' new song, Six Feet Apart. Uh, Luke uh, admitted he initially thought writing about the coronavirus pandemic might be cliche. Uh, Luke was on a Zoom call to write with Brent Cobb and Rob Schneider. And, uh, you know, uh, coronavirus is, of course, on their mind. But uh, Luke wasn't sure if he should uh, float that idea to the fellow writers. And he said, quote, I think I just asked them out of the blue. Hey, do we write a song about this thing or is it too cheesy? He told the Tennessean newspaper and uh, they came up. The other writers came up with the title Six Feet Apart. And uh, which is like, okay, that's a good title. Yeah. And then they talked about, you know, when they were writing and tossing ideas around about missing family and friends and doing what you love. And Luke said, well, I miss uh, performing live for fans. And, um, uh, you know, if you haven't heard the song yet, uh, they debuted it the next day uh, acoustically on the 15th of April and then released it last Friday. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is uh, it is a great job. As Paul, you mentioned before. A great job in, um, in 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 addressing what's out there without but doing it in a way that's tangible, not like as a parody. Like after this, this is going to go away. This song like has some legs under it, I think, because uh-huh. just the content is so relatable. I feel like nice. Uh, and uh, uh, it's interesting that the studio processing, there was t- social distancing involved. Yeah. There were only 10 people in the process. Each was in a different studio. Hey, Cindy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody wearing a mask. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, uh, Luke loved the recording process, he said, because he didn't have to hurry to go do something else like he usually does, you mm-hmm. know, another session or an interview or catch a plane or whatever. Yep. So uh, he loved it. Uh, great song, but, uh, you know, get in line if you're a Luke Combs song. <laughs> right. right? right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he keeps, keeps coming them out with him. That's great. Kenny Chesney thinks there will be concerts this summer. Uh, He was interviewed by the Tennessean and said, I think we're cautiously optimistic uh, about playing music this year. Uh, He said, we play a lot of venues the NFL plays in, and they're talking about having a season, so let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, he's planning, he's still planning the show May 30th in Pittsburgh for the uh, 2020 Chillaxification Tour. So that's the end of this month. I can't imagine uh, it's going to come yeah, off, but yeah. he does. Yeah, Kenny Chesney's just a beacon of positivity. That's exactly we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there I've been to go. a Kenny Chesney Stadium show. There is no social distancing there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, he does bring up a good point, though, saying that a Kenny Chesney concert is, uh, a, it has a healing impact. Darn uh, right. So we'll see, uh, you know, if we get Gillette going. Why you think we call the present the present? Because there ain't no better gift than here and now. How'd it go? Uh, Blake Shelton has found an unexpected upside to filming The Voice from home. Uh, He's getting more insight into his team members' home life. (laughs) And has been meeting their families with uh, video chats. Nice. He's, uh, he said, uh, he told Entertainment Tonight, I'm actually seeing these artists at their home in their natural environment, the place where they go when they write a song or when they record something or just work on music, and I find that interesting. Uh, you know, I had a job interview one time, and that's exactly what it was. Nothing about radio, nothing about what you do on the air. It was like, you know, tell me about your parents. Tell me about your siblings. Tell me <laughs> wow. what, what wow. kind of friends do you have outside the radio business? And I found it very strange. I got the offer and said, I don't think so. No, thanks. <laughs> it just it just rubbed me as wrong. But, uh, hey, Blake's finding it a positive when he's getting into the artist's family. Yeah. The uh, Voices first almost live from home episode was on Monday night. The contestant pool narrowed from 17 to 9 uh, during Tuesday night's episode. Uh, great quote from uh, Kelly Clarkson uh, about the at-home video. I don't get to hug the contestants. (laughs) My girl. (laughs) Love her. All right. More at tasteofcountry.com and q1065.fm.